Today's mini lesson for math is going to focus on all the other types of questions we can answer when we look at a frequency table and dot plot. If you haven't watched Mrs. Cress's video, it was an introduction on frequency tables and dot plots. I'll link it below in the description box and you can take a look at it if you haven't yet. Let's work on this problem now. Students in Mrs. Chopra's class have shoe sizes shown in the table. Fill in the missing information. So we're going to fill in the gaps that appear in this table and then we're going to practice answering questions based on the information we are given in the table. One person has a shoe size four. So I just need to put the frequency here and that's one. Four and a half is actually just missing two tally marks. So we're just going to go through and fill in the information that is missing. Five students have a five and a half size shoe. Three students wear a size six. Now we're ready to answer questions from the information in our frequency table. Three more students join the class. They each wear a size seven. Which shoe size is the most common now? When it's asking for which shoe size is the most common, it's asking for the shoe size that is the most frequent. Let's take a look. Right now, the number of students that wear a size seven shoe is three. But now three more students also wear a size seven. Now, six students wear a size seven. Let's take a look at our frequency table to find out which shoe size is now the most common. We're looking for the frequency number that is the highest. And that would be the size seven. Now that those three students have shown up and they wear a size seven, size seven is now the most common shoe size. How many more students wore a size five and a half shoe than wore a four or four and a half? Let's take a look at our data table. The number of students that wore a size five and a half is five. The number of students who wore a size four is one, and the number of students that wore a four and a half is two. How many more students wore a five and a half shoe than wore a four or four and a half? This question is actually asking me to combine the number of students that wore a four or four and a half. The number of students that were a five and a half, that's five. And because this is a comparison question, we're going to subtract. Five minus three is two. So two more students wore a five and a half. Now that we've answered some questions about our frequency table, we can actually analyze our frequency table to make statements about the data we see. For example, by looking at the table, I can tell that twice as many students wear a size seven than wear a size six. I can also tell that half as many students wear a size four than wear a size nine. Four students wear a size five or nine. What are some other observations you can make about this frequency table? Let's move on to dot plots. Rico wants to organize his collection of paper chains. Use the data in the chart to complete the dot plot. He has one, two, three, four, eight inch paper chains. One, two, three, four. He has one, two, three, six and a half inch paper chains.
he has one, two, seven and a half inch paper chains. And he has one eight and a half inch chain. How many more paper chains are eight inches or six and a half inches long than are seven and a half or eight and a half inches long? This question is asking us to do a lot of analyzing. First, we need to find out how many paper chains are eight inches or six and a half inches long. The number of paper chains that are eight inches is four and the number of six and a half inch long paper chains is three. When I put those together, that's seven. Now let's look at the paper chains that are seven and a half or eight and a half inches long. The number of chains that are seven and a half inches long, that's just two, and the number of paper chains that are eight and a half inches long is one. Two and one together make three. How many more paper chains are eight inches or six and a half inches long than are seven and a half or eight and a half inches long? Seven minus three equals four.